Uh, hello, uh, welcome to the Inside Indian Football episode number thirty-eight. Uh, apologize from my side, I was facing some. I'm I'm not sure, but some software sh- issue. It was showing, you know, uh, that my connection is fine and everything. So hopefully you guys can hear me and uh, you guys can, of course, see me also. So I'm still my YouTube is showing there is no data coming from my laptop, but I think I'm not sure. Now it shows excellent connections, and of course. it's showing no playback no chat right so i think some issue with the uh, youtube but don't let's not waste the time straight away let's come to the agenda of today there are lots of update of course lots of stuff has happening today isl has changed the price distribution uh, amount is same 15 16 crore rupees nearly 15 16 crore rupees but they have changed the distribution setup which is very important i think this shows that now isl it slowly slowly is moving towards the league proper league setup that's one thing uh, of course we have people from south asian countries joining in but today is mostly about india domestic football we'll talk about the saf championship at later part and other than that mumbai city has announced their new coach uh, sajol overa is leaving india he is going to the uh, another city group project i will come into details of that how that happened why that happened i have some details on that also another thing which is very also important is the uh, future of igos teamac i have some update on that also so let's straight away let's straight away come to the saf championship yesterday result we have spoken about yesterday result a lot uh, i think i have nothing to say but there are some updates on it i am i'm checking with my sources and all uh, there is some divide on uh, uh, deciding the future of igos teamac or indian football team Uh, some official levels i was talking to they feel that it's not always the coaches and the federation fault when national team doesn't play well so some fingers need to be point towards the players also uh, i'm told that there will be a review meeting after saf championship uh, of the indian football team players and coaching staff uh, i have not told that you know yaf is going to sack him so at this stage it's look like that we are going to yaf is is happy with agos team act and uh, they feel that this result uh, the performance it's not just the coaching fault it's more of the players decision on the pitch and uh, some particular decision were you know raised when while i was uh, talking to them they said you know some basic passes are not done by the players so uh, i don't know what to say so i'm still waiting uh, i think i will not speak uh, much on that only thing which i can say at this stage is that Uh, i am told that aff is going to review the performance of the team and the coach and the staff after saf championship and i think i will i will keep i will not say much till the saf championship ends i think this is not the right time to speak about it that's the quick update i i, I have it on uh, igos teamac and his future that uh, i am told that aff is going to review the uh, performance of the uh, indian football team and the the coach also so if anybody uh, join late so this is the first update so i will straight away if somebody watching in uh, i am going to put the time stamp here so it's three around 3 minute we talked about the igos team in the future and uh, so the jury is divided that they feel that you know uh, it's players some say it's coach some say this you know situation circumstances so i am not sure what to say at this stage i am not uh, very honest I have not talking to the any sources who are close to the players because i think it's not a right time to uh, disturb players they are they are in between of the championship so i think let's see let's what they say i think uh, after the championship i think we will we'll get to know but you have to think about after championship straight away there is under 23 championship qualifiers and i uh, specifically ask my sources at uh, work close to the aff that who will be the coach at the afc under 23 championship uh, i am told that you know uh, there is no way they're going to there is no way they're going to change it i'm sorry uh, there is no way they're going to change it so i think uh, they are going likely with the igos team act at this stage and you know uh, after championship maybe uh, after the uh, afc 23 championship we might have something to say on that now uh, there is another update as we started late today so i will start away straight away go into the uh, updates i have which i need to give i will come to the comment section later on a request small request people from nepal and not please don't fight if you are here for some some knowledge uh, some some st- uh, update for indian football you can stay because this is as title says this is inside indian football this is has nothing to related to saf championship and all so a request 
प्लीज बी हम्बल ऑन दी चैट रिक्वेस्ट टू द इंडियन पीपल ऑल्सो लेट्स नॉट फाइट यू नो इट्स 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 आर फॉल्ट सो लेट्स नॉट फाइट आर परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट गुड सो इट्स नो वे टू डिबेट विद एनी बडी एट दिस स्टेज आई एम नॉट श्योर द चैम्पियनशिप क्वालिफायर्स विल बी अंडर टू टू थ्री चैम्पियनशिप क्वालिफाइज लाइव ऑन टी वी आई थिंक लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग विल गेट नाउ लेट्स स्टेट अवे कम आई थिंक विच इज अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज द प्राइज मनी Uh, of the uh, of the ISL is changed and this is an important important update because ISL I League winners uh, ISL League winners used to get just fifty lakhs rupees before this season. Now that is that has been increased by three crores to three point five crores. So this tells that slowly and slowly, league champion already gets the. uh slots to the afc champions league now they are also getting a good sum of the money i think and this will change i think next season onwards also maybe they will keep it same for two season and afterward you will see that you know league champion getting more money than the isl champion and this is great uh, considering that you know uh, if if that a champion league champion goes to the final and even they win it and they will lose it even they lose it they will make three more three more crores that will be 6.5 crores and even they win it that will be 9.5 crores so it's it's a great setup uh, for uh, isl champion they can they can make majority of the money back which they spend on their salaries half of it and of course then there is central pool revenue which they can get and that will cover the salaries and other expenses coaching staff expenses very very easily for them so that means the off the field expenses which isl uh, clubs need to covers from the uh, from the you know their their the sponsorship and uh, the other revenue stream so i think this is very important now uh, percent total or total money remains same but now what they have done is they have they have changed uh, basically earlier isl champion used to get 8 crores now they get 6 crores earlier runner up used to get 4 crores now they get 3 crores same finalist still gets 1.5 crores each so i think this is great step uh, from fsdl this is showing that slowly slowly isl is moving towards the league setup i think after next season uh, because the next season is fifa world cup in qatar which will be in mid season in december i think uh, following season will be the i think one of the best season for isl in terms of the structure wise we will have more weekend games uh, major it's only home and away of course and maybe third leg also uh, if they if they don't increase the team as as this to meet the requirement because uh, to meet the 26 game requirement they still need if they can get two more teams then they don't need to play home away and away, home again three three leg league doesn't need because when you have 13 teams uh, Uh, when no so of course they need three more teams total 14 teams if if they can get 14 teams then home and away will make them 26 teams you know uh, for league stage only and that will be enough for um, uh, fulfill the afc guideline for afc champions league because the champions also play playoff so that already two more games so that will be 28 games per season i think so i think that will be might be the best thing for isl to do get three more teams in next two season get one team next year then maybe two teams in uh, um, season afterwards and that means 14 teams in isl 13 teams uh, so they play 26 home and away games plus of course the league champions who going to the fc champions league they also going to play at least home and away semi final so that will be 28 games for them that's minimum to uh, match the isl uh, afc guideline for the afc champions league and i think this step shows that they are now uh, going into the you know league champ uh, league phase uh, going into the giving more importance to the league phase instead of the knockout and playoff and all so that this is great i think uh, we'll come to sergio lebera i think lots of question on sergio lebera so that's Uh, i will come into that so just give me some time need to wrap up this is important part uh, there is issue with steam again khel now they were dealing some time please wait uh, i am not sure what that means uh, yeah so i think i steam i have already uh, covered that that's around 3 minutes so if you watch offline you can go and uh, check the time time stamp around 3 minutes that's about steam ac future uh i'm told that af is going to review the performance of the not just the uh, coach but the some players and the head uh, full team so let's see i think uh let's come to the next topic now which is important so this is this is the uh, regarding the um fsdl increasing the prize money for the league champion important i think any questions uh, regarding everything i'm speaking here i think i will take it on bit later because i have lots of stuff to talk about i have to analyze jamshedpur and fc goa squad today also so let's come to the now another big news of the day which is mumbai city fc uh, announcing that you know uh, sergio lebera is leaving not just mumbai city leaving india and uh, i'm surprised with the replacement englishman uh, uh, des Buck- buckingham des buckingham is replacing him as a head coach 
uh des buckingham is basically assistant coach uh, who was assistant coach as melbourne city fc without seeing anything without seeing uh, his cv his where he's worked i think this looked like a uh how do i say this it doesn't look like a a step uh, which shows that this is upgrade on sergio lovera i think sergio lovera was was the better coach credential wise he has done better in india that's one thing another thing is uh, why this has happened that's also important to know but i think i am not sure because mumbai squad was built by sergio lovera it was built by uh, built by you know uh, uh, built built for the spanish football now you are getting a englishman to replace him and i i have to check because it came just so fast you know uh, uh, before this video so i didn't check his profile but he was assistant coach at melbourne city so i think considering lovera has some better better cv when he came to india you know and uh, compared to des so let's see i think how, how he does uh, i will i will get my team to get his profile also uh, article done so let me also check if i have to say anything uh, i have not checked his profile because the mumbai city press release says englishman des packingham joins from melbourne city where he was assistant coach to patrick helping the club towards winning a league premiership and championship double he made significant contribution both on and off the pitch taking charge of the team on the three occasion during the 2021 season in the absence of uh, patrick in which he has a perfect winning record so he is basically uh, taken charge of the club melbourne city three times in absence of the their, um, head coach and he won all those three games uh, prior joining to melbourne city des became the youngest coach in a league history when he took charge of wellington for uh, uh, wellington phoenix at the age of 31 so has he has a spell in a league and also before that he was the um, uh, with the stoke city under 23 team Des was also head coach of New Zealand and 20 under 20 and 23 team as well as assistant coach for the New Zealand senior team for a brief period highly acclaimed uh, for his work with the New Zealand age group side Des led the New Zealand under 22 to under 20 team to the round of 16 in 2019 FIFA under 20 World Cup before going out to the Colombia in a penalty shootout in a light of his notable work in the country Des was named the men men's coach of the year at the 2020 New Zealand football awards So I think a uh, good coach looks like on a youth setup, but still unproven at the club level. Uh, so I'm, I'm. That's why Mumbai will be playing in AFC Champions League, and uh, I know uh, maybe for City Group, Melbourne City is the uh, bigger priority because it's a bigger club compared to Mumbai City at this stage. But I think uh, they could have done better with this announcement. I'm saying before seeing his team play, but his young coach, you know, and uh, considering he's young. young englishman now doing well in england so he might surprise many people now but i'm only only concern which i need to check on uh, what about this squad you know uh, this squad is built according to sergio lovera's uh, style of football will uh, des will follow the similar style that will be interesting to see uh, the issue why sergio lovera has left i think uh, if you guys don't know when both lovera and uh, uh, the people from fc goa joined him Uh, Mumbai City FC, you know, uh, including Hugo Mo, uh, they were they were basically also other than salaries and everything was promised that they will be given opportunity with the City Group's uh, clubs and such such such. Such a similar kind of promise made from City Group. Such a lawyer has one more year deal left with uh, Mumbai City FC, which which I am told. And uh, if that deal would have been not extended, means he is not going to City Group other City Group projects. he had already approaches from one isl club i can't take the name of the club but i am told that he had approaches he, he was approached by one isl club for the next season not this season for the next season so i don't think it's a salary issue anything issue it's just that sergio lovera thought that he has done his best uh, in india uh, and he think that he need he could deserve an upgrade so i will come to the lovera's quote uh, i have just summarized the des uh, uh, buckingham profile for you guys he is basically was the assistant coach at melbourne city before that he he was a head coach of uh, another a league club wellington phoenix and before that he was coach of uh, new zealand under 20 under 20 and under 20 23 team and i think biggest achievement of his career is still now took new zealand under 20 team to the round of 16 of 2019 fifa under 20 world cup before uh, when they lost against colombia in the penalty shootout uh, once i am given some time i will i will study these games 
where he has uh, coached these New Zealand teams. So I will, I will study his game and bring you a small profile in the next video maybe. And I think he was also, uh, the another achievement for him is the, you know, he was named the man of the coach uh, at the 2020 New Zealand Football Awards. Uh, CEO of the Mumbai City said, and, and this is new CEO by the way, I'm not sure this was announced by City Group or not, uh, Kandarap Chandra, who is a Mumbai City CEO, he said we are delighted to, typical PR uh, quote, we are uh, delighted to welcome Des to Mumbai City's exciting coach who has already has years of experience under his belt, he's an incredible high, highly thought of within the game and his background as City Football Group, ensure the continuity for our squad. As we head into the preseason, we are confident that Des is the right choice for Mumbai and we can't wait for to work with him. Similarly, we are very sad to say goodbye to Sergio. Uh, Sergio was a huge part of su successful season in club history. He has helped us to give a great foundation to build on this year. He has hugely admired and respected everyone at the club and will always be very welcome and uh, welcome guest in Mumbai. We wish him and his family very uh, every success for a bright and happy future is new endeavor uh, and there is a statement from managing director of global football at city football club and he actually said something very similar you know that this is amazing coach thank you to sergio he said that he is a well versed in the style of football the teams plays and will continue the fantastic work of sergio has done so i think this shows that uh, mumbai is going to play similar kind of football style that uh, the the style they have i think uh, des will continue that i think that's that's might be the importance for them at this stage uh, also he said while sergio time in india has come to end i'm delighted that he has chosen to continue with city football group in a fresh challenge we are very pleased that he will be able to keep working together there is no announcement from city group that where he is going and of course des have given his quotes so that's that's regarding it important quotes which i want to come into is that now uh, lobera what Sergio Lovera have said, these are Sergio Lovera quotes, I think, uh, you know, the time I've spent with Mumbai City, which is on your screen now, uh, the time I've spent with Mumbai City family and the memories we have made together, something I will forever hold close to my heart. But now after four, fund four wonderful years in India, it is time to say goodbye. It has been an honor for me and my family to live in this in incredible country and to have an have been able to get to meet and know so many wonderful people. He also said about that playing in front of Mumbai fans, which he has not done. And I think this is another important uh, quotes from his side saying, you know, I have particularly enjoyed working with uh, colleagues across City Football Group. I'm delighted that I have an opportunity to continue to work with them on a new project. As much as I loved India, I feel the time is right for me and my family to take up a new challenge within City Group. I think I'm guessing now two possibility I can see at this stage is that, you know, him going to Spain, this, uh, this Spanish project of City Football Group or maybe something in Europe. I think I'm not sure if we go to Australia. So I think, uh, let's see, I think what's what he does. So I'll take some quick thoughts of you guys on the same. Uh, Lovera is not good for national teams, says Manoj. When they choose Igor, I don't know. I, where people are still stuck with Igor. I think we need to move on. Uh, the, nothing new is there. So let's talk about the stuff which we had in right. Make Sergio Lovera new Indian coach, the club approach. Uh, the club approach Sergio is ATKMB. I can't take the name of the club at this stage. City Group is not going anywhere. The CEO of City Group said that we are here for at least a decade. City, why City Group will go anywhere? They have paid crores of money to get the ownership of Mumbai City hero. That doesn't make sense to go anywhere. Uh, we need Indian coach for our national team. That's I'll come into later on. Uh, so I think uh, Sergio Lovera, ISL top coach. I think what's, what's your memory of Sergio Lovera? I think uh, other than winning with Mumbai City, I think he did very well with FC Goa. I think the playing style and everything. I think of course the, the, the ending was not good, but I think we saw that what he can do and I think, you know, ultimately he go, went into Mumbai City FC, win that uh, championship and the league double both, uh, knockout trophy was and now. I just hope that he would have stayed in uh, Mumbai for one more season and continued what he has done with Mumbai City in the AFC Champions League. Now there is a new coach coming in. League, league, league campaign will be difficult, but I think I'm more worried about the, uh, more worried about the Champions League, I think, which is important for Indian football at this stage. Uh, Lovera is going to Japan. I, mean, I can't say anything. I have not talked talk to anybody because the, everything happened very quickly. You know, announcement came very quickly. So I thought I uh, have not chatted with anybody since then. So I will mean the next video. Maybe we'll get it. I don't think Mumbai City will dominate. Like I said, like I said, they don't have a good center back or winger. Now Lovera is also not there. Lovera will miss AFC Cup or AFC Champions League. You means again? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. How will Mumbai will do in AFC? I think that's very important and that's why I wanted Lovera to continue. But I think if they have done, they might have a plan behind it. So let's see. Lovera is loved by almost all the fans, not only Mumbai or Goa, but every ISL fan says Shivam. I think the playing style, people will love him always, you know. Uh, City Group should have should have done better considering considering AFC Champions League. I think 
maybe maybe he's the young coach this he might have good credential you know you never know because he had not coached the club levels people think that he is a small cv but considering he took new zealand to the knockout round of the uh, fifa world cup under 20 and that's a good achievement for a young coach english young coaches now have been they have a great basics of coaching which i know uh, talking to lots of people in english football was working the young coach is working in championship league level you know i think i think let's see let's give him opportunity now let's not judge him straight away uh let's let's come to the next topic now uh now i'm, I'm just switching straight away because we already missed a majority of the time uh, regarding the same uh, so now let me let me come to the now uh, uh, jamshedpur and i hope sad kerala is watching uh, to do the time stamp you know uh, so i'm going to st- tell you now this is the time stamp you don't know, need to note for now let's talk about jamshedpur squad depth analysis i'm jumping because uh, we wasted around 10 10 minutes in the start of the video because of the technical issue or uh, this is this is jamshedpur squad i think here you have to give credit to oen koel and the management i think they they planned for two years now i can say this is oen koel team the team he want to uh the team he wants to uh, to have to play his style of football we can straight away say this team is made to made to play 442 to have pranay holdar there jitender there in, you know uh, in in the defensive midfielder alex lima the center number 8 also another thing which i want to clear is that i was talking to some sources close to the uh, club and in scotland also greg stewart is number 10 or right winger he doesn't play forward in in his recent uh, recent time in his career majority of the time he has played as a right winger with the rangers or the attacking midfielder so that's one position he is going to fill it and ishan pandita became the third choice forward for them which will be very important considering they play they going to play 442 i think only depth issue which i feel for them is defensive midfield center midfield and attacking midfielder you know they are heavily heavily dependent on pranay holdar who has an injury history alex lima who also have an injury history anything happens to these two player then their best options are jitender and mubashir you know and gorachand is also there but gorachand uh, is a is a part of the squad but he he will is a standby player you know so i think then if anything happen then they are they might force to play you know somebody like uh, narendra also in midfield you know never know but i think that's the only area which looks weak to me if you ask me you know they have good wingers getting somebody like komal thatal getting somebody like you know um, boris on a right wing that's give them good two right wingers in form of boris and uh, renthil then ricky and sandeep mandi is a good two left back like finger i think only concern is that midfield to me and you know and that midfield might considering the history of pranay and alex injury you know that might be the uh, that might be the concern for the jamshedpur fc fans straight away i have come to their formation i think straight away this is the best 11 i feel uh, ricky peter lcbi bipin uh, boris i have selected boris by the way because for for to need you need wingers who uh, uh, full back or wingers who can cross the ball tp rani is on goal pranay holdar will be there will alex lima in midfield farooq choudhry from one wing Uh, Len from another wing, and up front you have Jordan Murray and Vasquez. Vasquez you will see playing that secondary striker role. Uh, I think this looks great on the paper. It's depend on how uh, how how easy e- easily Owen keep this squad fresh, especially considering that midfield, which is bit worried part me. Another option they have is playing this. In this, uh, they can you know uh, play Greg Stewart as a right winger. play ishan pandita in uh, in place of jordan mare i think this also look good if you ask me remaining remain same alex lima pranay holdar farooq choudhury and this, this this is another good option you know and that will give you foreigner in the uh, involved in the build up part alongside alex lima so that's that's will provide them stability that's will give them option to rotate uh, jordan mare and vasquez if, if required you know and the third option if 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 he try to go 4 to 3 1 uh, you know uh, then in that i have selected greg stewart as a number 10 anas comes in as a center back indian center back so that means uh, uh, their uh, uh, the another center back il sabia goes out anas comes in and then you of course you have pranay holdar as a defensive midfield alex lima as uh, number 8 and then greg stewart as attacking midfield look and in this of course komal thatal i have brought in on the right wing you know farooq choudhury on left and vasquez a friend i think great squad uh, just worried about the midfield depth and i think uh, that will be the issue for uh, jamshedpur if you ask me Uh, let me see any comments on the jamshedpur squad uh four foreigners are allowed i am not sure which where i have taken five foreigners here one i have to check i have to check i am not sure i have selected five foreigners anywhere 
these are four P peter alex greg and uh, vasquez where they are saying five fifth for now here uh, vasquez alex lima greg stewart okay yes second squad instead of ilsavia you will have anas here so uh, no it's fine right vasquez okay yeah yeah in 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 place of elsevia you will have anas here just like just like the third squad so that's a mistake from my side yeah so i think it's look good jamshedpur i think i think first time they might be uh, they might be you know uh, challenging for the playoff spot considering i feel they are more open slots in the top 4 now compared to the last season yeah second formation i have uh, five foreigners uh, kumar reddy in place of ilsavia you will have anas there or um, narender can be also whoever center back they want to pick so that that's my, that's my issue and uh, not good enough to finish top four wing back midfield two big i think wing back wing they are two decent big wing back on the both position you know and then also jitender and narender can can also fill in if they required uh, ricky is indian of course i think second second formation there was you know one extra for us so that's mistake from my side so don't worry uh, i think only issue is the midfield i think so let's see what they what they do with the midfield uh, it's a very important season for jitender also because now after under 17 world cup this 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 might be the time for him to show that he has that uh, potential to be the midfielder of icl team uh, again this this issue with bench strength with jamshedpur was there last season and they have uh, improved it i think by bringing komal by bringing boris of course farooq len this player has came in uh, so i think let's see how they do only i con big concern is uh, regarding on my side is the midfield you know pranoy and alex lima both have injuries history uh but both are the typical owen coel uh, uh center midfielder which he required a destroyer and bit more a player with bit more flair you know can uh, contribute in the attacks so that will help them i think 442 looks like the way he wants to go and he has built that uh, he has built that team for that formation and this is the difference between the kerala blasters squad building and uh, jamshedpur squad building so they gave lobera uh, they gave uh, owen coel two season to build his squad the way that he wants he has three forwards now because he want more forwards and in case of kerala blaster they went with uh, kibu got his squad accordingly spanish style of football then they went with a coach who wants to play 442 and their squad is in a, in between now it's neither a squad for the passing football it's neither a uh, squad for the uh, attacking counter attacking attacking fast pace football so i think that's what uh, con my concern which i shared with kerala blaster fans is that you know Uh, they need they needed so they needed maybe to give some time to kibu or whoever coach now the current coach please give him time i will say he will also need time to build his squad it's not easy to get player change their playing style formation everything in one go because considering they played different football for last two season now they are going to a different process let's give this coach also time you know because i know kelavas clubs of fans are very passionate about the teams you know and they don't want to see the team losing but i think give is this coach time let him build his squad you know give him at least one more two more transfer window january and summer and then let's see how he he, he does that uh, but do you think jamshedpur i think jamshedpur challenge for top 4 for sure Uh, that's what i can tell you and owen coel is the winner you know and vasquez is the winner these two people uh, they have on the setup you know uh, uh, it will be i think i considering they got jordan mare ishan pandita parney haldar in and these people are these were great addition you know and then youngsters in in in, in, the, in the form of boris singh komal tatal will give them that uh, surprising element from the bench or whenever they're playing farooq choudhury lend out two great indian play forward players you know they can play all across that forward forward positions so that's i think that's a good squad i will tell you only thing is con concerning thing for me is the midfield you know i think i think midfield i i feel they needed uh, the amarjeet leaving them is look like uh, the player and then of course amarjeet did never got the that time of playing time with the uh, fc goa then he went to east bengal i think they should have maybe try for amarjeet again before he went to uh, east bengal that would have give them a great great option in that midfield you can play with both the position and would get them great uh, quality also in midfield so i think i think let's see uh, i think uh, we need to discuss more about the how they do it once the season comes that tactical preview uh, we'll discuss in detail and i know kerala 442 is di different but you need still player to play that those type of football uh, attack like 4 2 that's transition of formation is always there in every formation uh, they we it's not that 352 is always 352 in defense it's it's became something 532 in defense sometime you know uh, instead of 352 and in attack in sometime it's became 325 uh, you know so that 
transition of formation is always there it is depend on coach to coach uh, you know uh, somebody has joined uh, joined late so i will tell you the only thing is two, two things we have discussed till now three things jamshedpur squad analysis which you guys can watch it again it's a detail details of their squad depth sergio lavera mumbai city and the new coach des buckingham uh, details and one thing which was important was uh, i got stimac future i was told that you know aff is going to review the performance of indian football team players and the coach both there is mix fraction between uh, people who are involved in this that you know some feel that uh, it's the not just coach not just federation its players also need to be blamed for it so let's see i think how they do it uh, uh, i have done odisha already see uh, mr shubh i think you should watch that but let, let me come now uh, uh, let, let bhai notification nahi aata aapka video ka pin to de bhai ye youtube ka issue hai yaar pareshan hu main bhi कुछ नहीं कह सकता आप ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा वीडियो देखो तो आपको आ जाना चाहिए वैसे तो मुझे भी नहीं पता क्यों नहीं आता है वाइश ईशान पंडित इज नॉट इन फर्स्ट प्लेस इंडियन टीम एफ सी गोवा जमशेदपुर आई एम देस टू फॉरन स्ट्राइकर्स दे विल प्ले बट ईशान पंडित विल प्ले बिकॉज दे नीड इंडियन फॉरवर्ड टू मिक्स इट अप यू नो वेन द चेंज द फॉर्मेशन आई थिंक ओ एन कोवेल इज द मोस्ट सिंपल टैक्टिस कंपेयर अदर ही बट ही एक्जीक्यूट द टैक्टिस परफेक्टली I think it's great that's what we have seen with Chennai FC last season Jamshedpur was very very close to reach the playoff you know so I think you can't say that I think that's that's make them favorite to have a Owen Kuehl third season in Indian football will give him of course some advantage over other new coaches uh, Northeast Asian center back is still not done I have not heard anything back from my from my Indian source now let's come to the FC Goa people are waiting for that yes uh this is the FC Goa squad so there are lots of youngsters in this and uh, like christy davies tenson fernandes uh, uh brisbane fernandes they, these player positions best position is still not that decided but i have whatever i have talked to the people what i have seen them playing in durand cup their the charts from durand cup their position heat map from durand are selected accordingly i think this squad can be used any way the juan want the inclusion of uh, nemil inclusion of uh, the, there is already brandon uh, the otis nagera they continuing makhalal chote delton kalaso redim talang noktamba norem they this give them a lots of lots of lots of options in form of indian players however they want to change is the rise of papuya and iban will give them an option to play only one center back foreign center back you know right now i have selected two foreign center back which usually go up play with but i think i have selected a formations which shows that you know they can just play with one foreign center back which can be ivan in this case and that will give them option to include albert nogueira or uh, otis mendoza in either of the wing or the number 10 position or even the forward position uh, of course they have spanish forward uh, elram and i am not considering otis injury i'm hoping that everything all players will be fit by the time <coughs> by the time i sell start so hopefully so that's why i i picked everything so i think this look great in form of the depth only concern is the defensive midfield position for me adobedia plays there but i think with, they need one indian defensive midfielder and uh, because they want adobedia to join the attack more uh because he, he has that quality to influence in the final third glen martin is the best option and then there is uh, brisen fernandes of course prince rabelo can play number 8 role and edu bidia can play uh, number 6 role i think that's the only weakness i can say uh, i i i i think it's not a weakness also it's just a depth issue but then they have these lots of youngsters who can play anywhere on that position i think with the rise of nemil where he will fit in this team he will play from right wing can play as a number 10 can put brendan on left wing that's give them lots of opportunities you know and i have selected three formation for goa also so let's straight away come to the goa's first formation i think i think straight away for foreigners this looks like a best option to me you can also put mohammed nevil from right wing he has play, played that role in uh, durand cup he can do it again but uh, i think one likes players who can keep the width he wants his uh, full back uh, to attack i feel that this might the season when sensen pereira start more over gama uh, you have ivan you have fox i think another concerning only concerning thing was the replacement of dheeraj if dheeraj got injured or need to rotate it navin looks uh passenger in this team to me he is not the quality of the goalkeeper in, which required in isl i think they should need to try the youngsters more which they have in their own youth setup i think this is the first option so, and that's that tell you how many options they have there is no albert nogueira this there, there, there is no otis mendoza in this flat two center back front center back edubedia and foreign foreign center forward still that front three of nogdamba brendan or uh, romare jesuraj and you can put mohammed nevil also here give them such a dynamic 
uh, attacking options, you know, and up front you have foreign centre forward in form of uh, Aram Kabara. So that's one option they have. Now, another option, straight away, they can play Ortiz Mendoza, you know, and Iban come in in, uh, in place of uh, Fox. And you have Sever Gama also to give an alternative option. Then you have Glenn Martins, Idubidia, Brendan plays as a number 10. Redeem Talang can play as a uh, right winger and Iram as a centre forward. And Otis can come play in the left winger role which he has done. Brendan and Otis Mendoza can also switch their uh, position. And I am not selecting any more formation because same formation. They can try different different players which give them a different different options. And that's what... Tell you the depth of FC Goa Indian players they have at this moment. Again, uh, everything remains same. Ivan comes in uh, in place of Fox. Glenn Martins, Edubedia. Brandon goes on the left wing. The role he has played. You can also play instead of Brandon. You can play Nogdamanorim. You played Redeem Talang. You can play anybody there. They have multiple wingers who can play. Of uh, in As a number 10, Nogera comes in. Mohamed Neville comes in the right wing. And Ayram. And what kind of uh, this kind of uh, service a center forward would get from these these three players behind him brandon nogera and Neville. i think it's a dream situation for any center forward to play for it but uh, i think this this might be the best formation for them uh, in, instead of uh, redeem talang you can you can select the uh, uh, Mohamed Neville, depending on how his season goes, I think because he will not start straight away because he will need some time to adjust with the ISL pace also, you know, ISL will be different compared to Durand Cup. But I think that's, that's tell you everything about the, their depth and the quality of squad they have built across. I think this will help them uh, going ahead, you know, and uh, let me know what do you guys think about FC Goa. This, this is my, my thought process, you know. Uh, and I think uh, considering signing, they have signed uh, Nogdama Norim also now. Lots of options. I have selected just one formation, three different playing eleven, different different attacking players. That's that's tell you the all the all the all the details, all the depth, uh, quality they have, and this gives FC. This is FC Goa season. Uh, this is FC Goa season. I think if they don't win this season, at least community uh, the league stage, I think it will be failure for them. I think the pressure need need to be there. They are going. People, whatever they say, other people say Mumbai, ATK, Monmaga, and they spend. But this is FC Goa season, considering only four foreigners are allowed in the playing eleven. considering they've just won the Durand Cup. I think this is the FC Goa season and they should need to win this. Not just the league stage, need to win the trophy also because that's the one trophy they don't have there in the cabinet now. Uh, North East United and now East Bengal are remaining. Most likely those two teams I will do next week. I will, I'm doing two teams every week, you know, and uh, I hope SAD Kerala uh, has... Uh, uh, has taken the uh, uh, you know, timestamp for these because people are watching offline they will need it and we are very thankful for SED Kerala for you know doing it in last couple of videos and hope he continues to do it. Uh, lots of talented Indian players have to go and, I think, and see just one formation they can play uh, they, they can play different different Indian players in different each position you know uh, and the only concern is that midfield to me uh, but then they have uh, Albert Naguera can play in midfield Brendan can play in midfield if they need that FC Goa B team players can also join other teams and that's what I'll tell you about the quality of that who got the best replacement for Agostino to lead Indian football according to you I think at this stage if you ask me I think Juan from, uh, Juan from Goa Roka from Hyderabad current the, the, the second Roka I think can be good option from ISL uh, Khalid Jamil, if you talk about Indian Indian coaches, Khalid Jamil, Thongbai Singh Tho, uh, these coaches knows Indian football for very long now. So if we are going for, I I, I will love to see now getting Indian coach. I think we have seen foreign coaches coming in, doing their bits. I think it's time for what best teams in world football are doing, best international teams. They have all have domestic coaches, uh, and I have I have to go through data, but I know the data that ninety nine percent teams who played FIFA World Cup till date, all have domestic coaches. So that's tell you the uh, that we need Indian coach to lead this, you know. What if Iram get injured and we don't know how Otis will be, will be after his his injury? So do do they have enough option to challenge for title without a center forward if Iram gets out of the form or injured? Devinder is there, same. Uh, Devinder has scored goal now, uh, and uh, that's give them an, another option, you know. That's what I'm saying. The uh, Derek Pereira is also good shout. Uh, Gita Desai has uh, and he's, he's another. Coaches from the same same batch of Khalid Jamil Thong by Singto, they have they have been in Indian football very 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 long. Why is coach is considering Romero instead of Makkan and Redim? I think sometime uh, you have to see 
technically some players maybe not as good as others but they offer something else to the team you know and Romero I think he uh, he offer them defensive cover he goes up and down on that pitch so sometime I think he has to need to balance that out you know you can't have 11 technical flair players you know uh, that's why the you know uh, maybe I think 2002 Brazil team but that Brazil team had somebody like Kafu and uh, these kind of players to balance it out so you need you need balance uh, other type of players uh, uh, to balance your team technically, especially squad and list of ATK Mohan Bagan. I think they are also remaining. So I have done till now, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me open my data. I have it, so I will tell you guys what remaining and what not. Uh, I have sheets, online sheets. If you guys need these sheets, access I can I can give just for uh, reading purpose. So I have done Chennai FC. Odisha FC was the first one. Hyderabad and Bangalore FC was next. Mumbai City, Kerala Blaster was the next. Jamshedpur and now FC Goa were the one. I think three more teams remaining. East Bengal, ATK Mohan Magan and North East United. So I will select two for next video. Then one will do it for the next video. Uh, Giron uh, FC. I am not. Let's see. I think what they do with Sergio Lovera. So you have to wait before, before saying. FC Goa is like ban multiple players options. After Japan lost to Saudi Arabia, the people in Japan wanted wanted not only the sacking of the coach but the sacking of the whole executive committee. India में लोगों को पता भी नहीं है committee क्या है. That's what tell you you know Japan is a footballing nation and India is not at this stage. What about Himanshu Jangra replaced Chhetri? Again we have to wait. I'm not seeing enough from him in the recent matches. But to do the state league is easier. I think still need to do better in the ICL and I-League level and then the India youth team level. Asis why isn't too late for Northeast with the Asian centre back after signing there's a visa problem and then 7 day quarantine it's now only month remaining for ICL to start. I think uh, it will be done. And they were very close to do it Palestine International which I which I, which I have uh, told you guys about. I'm not sure why have they not done it so I think they're just waiting for some more details before getting it done. I've texted my sources various sources who were close to the topic and I have not heard back and anybody have said me anything till now so let's see I think what happened there uh, I think Papuya somebody says Biban Fernandez is a did good job I think Papuya will be preferred over Iban uh, what I know that Iban uh, is highly rated by FC Goa management not just the coaching setup so I think uh, uh, let's see I think what they do I think but Papuya is still young so Iban have at least some experience of playing at the top level uh, Fox is also, was a panic buy says SAD Kerala can say that but FC Goa does everything according to a plan so let's see where are other Reliance Foundation young champ player other than Mohamed Neville Thoi Singh is there in the uh, Bangalore FC the squad who played in the uh, Durand Cup there are couple of them is in uh, Hyderabad uh, couple of them is there in, in the uh, Hyderabad FC uh, also Durand Cup top 20 goals are coming in uh, and I really like Hyderabad FC Changte also I was watching games again and that's a that's lad is to watch out for only thing is that physique wise he might struggle at the senior level oh but the guy has pace and technique of a different level at at his age you know i was taking defenders for fun what a freak he has scored i think that's that, that's a, and I, I was telling you right i will watch games again to see that which youngsters have done and i don't want to put put pressure on these youngsters but uh, the Changte at Hyderabad FC looks good guy to me you know uh, is Bibiano uh, pro license I think his A license is pro license is going on I'm not sure that he has done it now as of now I have to check that are you ever going to sack Agostima I can't say at this stage we have to wait uh, wait for the under 23 uh, SAF championship to get over uh, Japan is not a footballing nation their first choice sports is baseball same as a cricket but football is a important sport for them it's not the unlike India football is important sports for them uh, will Steemak step down from Indian football? I'm not sure Steemak is going to step down from Indian national team. Uh, uh, should I wait for North East United to sign uh, making analysis video if they are even going to sign one? Abhi to frustration hone laga hai. Ye to analysis video bhi nahi hai, wise, so don't worry. This is just a squad depth chart. I have because this is a weekly show. Lots of people come in here. This is just to tell them what's happening with the squad, how the squad are shaping up. Don't worry, there will be a specific video of each team which I'm going to do. So don't worry on that. That will come for very soon. Hyderabad Changte again I think this is what I don't like John Snow Hyderabad Changte Chennai Changte Chennai Changte achievement you can't compare with the youngsters who are coming up so don't worry yeah. don't 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 do this foolish thing you won't play Princeton I think Princeton can be there if Edubidia plays a number six then Princeton plays a number eight you know where you will play Princeton that's also a question that's the the depth they have Princeton can start for any ISL club 
but he might not start for FC Goa in all games. He might start some games for the rotation. And this given FC Goa an advantage, they can rotate this team very easily, you know, without dropping the quality. And that's what we saw in the AFC Champions League last game. They played with the Indian squad there, you know. So I think let's see. Uh, AFA make Miranda coach. I think it's very early for Clifford Miranda. They are, they are, their coaches were the better experience than him. He's still young, still learning his trade. So let's see what he does. What are the ranking system of players in academy in India? Uh, what kind of ranking system are we talking about, Shravik? By isn't the time for the Clifford or Nosar to take look for the head coach position in even in I League? I think I think that's that's going to be great, you know. Uh, and let's see how what reserve leagues comes, what these coaches does in the reserve reserve league this year. So I think let's wait for that. And before we, if they want to consider I League jobs, they can. Uh, Vivano Fernandez is best coach Indian. I think you can say best coach in the Indian national team setup. I think there's still coaches who have done better. Uh, they achieve more than him in the in the in, in you know. Uh, in Indian football than him. Why Lobera left? I think Lobera has that uh, understanding with City Group that he will leave for City Group better opportunity outside India. So I think they have decided when he joined. So I think it's nothing new for them. I think uh, it's just a lot of time when they want to do it. India versus Nepal prediction favorite topic of Nepalese fan. I just hope, just hope that India win that one game. You know, I don't care about the final and everything. I care about this one game. What about JJ's future? JJ's future should be shorted, I think, this weekend or all. I think a couple of days more. That should be announced very soon. What is the development player rule in ISL? Two players should be there in the uh, squad, uh, uh, match day squad. I think four in the uh, total squad. And you can have 35 players in your uh, total squad. Uh, uh, please do videos on uh, Mumbai City, AFC and DES. Yeah. There will be something coming on uh, desk profile for sure. Uh, reserve league, kya? there are chances reserve league will happen. I've, I've heard that reserve league is going to happen. Yeah, it is likely to start from this season, you know, uh, might happen later on, but it will, it will start this season. Not will be as big as the ISL, but it will happen for sure. Uh, that I have already taken. Will we have FIFA? Will our ranking will going down? After, of course, our ranking will go down, but it, long term it will go down because. We are still going to get the fruits from Stephen Constant's success, you know. That's the how FIFA ranking average score works. Do you think the AFF committee should also take the responsibility of downfall of the football in the country and must be pushed for the elections? I totally agree and I have tweeted this Pratik Mishra. If you have not checked, you can check out my Twitter also. Uh, that they have the one who selected... Uh, uh, they are the one who selected Igor Stimak. They are the one who given extension to him. So they are also answerable to the, the disaster performance of Indian football team in last two years. Uh, why North East United always do like this? Signing and announcing player always so late, making their fans frustrated. Just don't want to speak about it. I have once I touch upon this and uh, North East fans, fan, I was too harsh on the club, you know. So I think I think every clubs have their different medium, different way to do, do business. So let's see what they do. I think Vasquez will be fall uh, will fail in India because he plays on the shoulder of the last defender. Ninety nine percent of the run will be called by the Indian allied class referees. <laughs> let's see. I think let's see what they what how he does. I am looking forward to uh, Vasquez at Kerala for sure. Arsenal FC to Tata Tata Group. What are your thoughts? What 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 Ajitendra Pradhan Samad Mini am? Can you rank our state league who's top and the bottom? Uh, straight away I will come I think Goa Pro League for me will remains on the top just because of the longevity just because of the quality of the games just because of the number of games these youngsters get and, and just because every year it's happened you know every year they make it sure that it happens I think Goa Pro League is the number one uh, I, I will keep Mizoram Premier League it's not as long as Goa Pro League but the quality of uh, production call, fan following fan engagement they are on the number two you have to give Kolkata Football League a number three, but I just don't like the way they conduct Kolkata Football League. The fixtures get changed every 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 day. Uh, the games are there. Live streaming is happening on the Archkal Archkal TV. I think Archkal Facebook page I watch is there. But CFL is a historical tournament. Uh, what I'm told there are various IFA division are there. So very, but still, if you see, uh, it's CFL is all about clubs in Kolkata and nearby areas. You know, I still want uh, IFA to do something in North North Bengal where the lots of football uh, uh, fanatics are there, lots of football fan following are there. I think uh, after that, uh, not many state good league state leagues are there. After that, there are state leagues who goes on month monthly basis. You have to give credit to Bangalore BDFA Division League. That's also a good league for the players, upcoming players. You know. Uh, other than there is MDFA league in Mumbai, there is Delhi league. These are just leagues, just happening on paper. You can't compare the quality with GFL or Mizoram Premier League or even uh, BDFA, Bangalore Division Super League, you know. 
I think you have to give these. You have. I think Mizoram, uh, Mizoram Premier. Meghalaya also have Shillong Premier League and all. They are decent, decent level. Uh, but still, I think uh, I'll put Goa Pro League as the as the you know the best league in India. Reliance buying Liverpool FC not happening. Do you think incentive to state ba state FA based on the criteria of competitiveness transparency must be promoted to ensure the more state conducts them properly? It should be. Currently, it's all about voting, voting, uh, getting votes, and you know majority of the states doesn't even spend the grants they get from FIFA and AFF. And so what can I tell about? Rajasthan is, is a still new league. You can't call a league which which finish in a one month, 15 days. There, there used to be Assam League also once upon a time. I'm not sure. And this is this is what Northeast United would have uh, would have done, you know. Get a state league in Assam. You are a club who are based out in Guwahati for five, six years, doesn't have a proper U teams. I'm not sure. I'm not sure Northeast have a, any U teams, you know. And uh, there's no state league. Do something for the grassroots development of the state. And I know fans love North East United, but these are the questions they need to ask their uh, owners, their team uh, management. What's they doing for the state football? How many footballers coming from Assam who are going to play for North East United in future? I don't see any. Any will come from India setup, that's different, you know. Anybody come from Reliance Youth Foundation, that's, that's different. What North East United has done for the um, uh, Assam as a state, as a for a football, Guwahati is a city for a football. So then that's on the uh, North East United, you know. Kerala Premier League is also there, but again, these are league is not longer. Kerala is one state where I want uh, uh, Kerala FA to have a home away league because that's where the Kerala football will go to the next level, you know. Uh, Newcastle takeover thoughts. I think that's that's what's about to happen. I think before they were saying Saudi will be not uh, uh, involved in the club operations. Premier League statement I was reading it was funny, considering the group who's uh, uh, who's taking over the club is completely owned by Saudi's family. So, uh, so I think great for Newcastle, great club, historic club. But I think uh, as a Manchester United fan, I I feel that club should be uh, club should be independent enough. Uh, club like Manchester United generate their own money. You know, uh, uh, to spend it, to spend it, and that's how they've spent it all across th these history. Uh, when they, in, in other these clubs says Alex Ferguson used to also buy players, but that's money generated from the club uh, source of revenue. I think and uh, owner pumping money, uh, pumping money to make this club relevant. I think Newcastle is legendary, so th there is no point. But I know what you're talking about, City, Manchester City, for example. You know, uh, their status in English football was was not there to be to be top four teams in, in country now you can and of course they have done fantastic job revamping the whole club the uh, the, the the owners from UAE but that's what I feel sometime you know club should be uh, uh, independent enough of their owners so that the situation like which what happened with club like Bury club like Derby doesn't happen because then you're totally dependent on owners to put money in to run the club can Lovera by and mean take over? I don't think Lovera is coming back to uh, coming back to in India anytime soon. Uh, so let's see. I have contacts with one. That's great, Kanish. Any development on POIs and OCI players? There is no development on POI and OCI players. It's not going to change. But I just visited Australia football Reddit. They rate Mumbai City FC new coach very very highly. I think he's a young coach. That's something. Give him chance. Young English coaches are doing well all all across the world. And City Group might be the new that, you know, he's the man who can take forward Mumbai City FC, you know, compared to other coaches' options they have. Is Max still uh, will sack before our next year on item this half? I'm not sure he's going to sack at, at this stage. Uh, it is very strange to see FF not doing anything after watching such a poor performance, also paying so much money in, in Igor. Why they are wasting so much money in him, Indian coach, can do any good. I'm not sure. Halicharan, Pranzel Bumal, Pranzel Gogoi for some... But I know they are from Assam. None of them, you can say, you know, are, are thank you for Northeast United to do it. Pranjal came from Shillong setup, if I remember correctly. So that more Assamese players have come from Shillong Ajong setup than any than from Northeast United in the last five six years. So that's everything about what Northeast United have done in the state. You know, update on relegation system. I think there I have no update on relegation system at this bar. Is bar ISL mein Indian referee hoga hai, foreign referee. Indian referees are quality improve hoga kya is bar VAR agar nahi to three referees. System like in cricket. So let's discuss this uh, because I'm done with my, all the topics, referee system, and uh, why is this bit complicated for FSDL to uh, FSDL to, to to change it. So if you remember, there was a time when there was a foreign referees in ISL. Majority of the matches coached coach by the uh, foreign referees. 
Referees jurisdiction comes under AFF, not under the FSDL, you know. And uh, FSDL league coaches owners they want good referees to come in, but AFF has has a view that we need to grow referees in India. So you can't have all re- uh, matches done by foreign referees, you know. Uh, and uh, even foreign referees are very costly for the league. They have brought in in past. I have figures in my phone. Uh, I, I have I have make a note of it. I we want to do a story, complete story on that. We have still not done. The work is remaining. But I know the foreign referees are paid very highly compared to Indian referees. So league want to do it, but they they have to agree with the AFF that they want to develop the Indian referees. You know, and that's why the Indian referees are getting more chances. Sirindi Deccan has the best training facility in India in terms of infrastructure. Shantanu, I think somebody also uh, told before in this in this video last week. I have to still see the videos and all. I have not seen why no VAR in ISL. I are uh, Alexis Gaming. आप से एक सवाल पूछता हूँ. आप क्या चाहते हो कि Indian football ecosystem? मैं हिंदी में बोल रहा हूँ. Sorry. अगर आपको नहीं आता मुझे बताना. Uh, Indian football ecosystem हर season पांच से दस करोड़ पंद्रह करोड़ रुपए VAR पे लगाए. Because there's a set. स्टैंडर्ड बाई फीफा फॉर वी आर यू नो एंड उसको सिर्फ वी आर पे लगा या वो पाँच से दस पंद्रह करोड़ रुपये वो आप यूथ डेवलपमेंट पे रिजर्व लीग पे के खर्च करें क्या हेल्प करेगा इंडियन फुटबॉल को लॉन्ग टर्म आप मुझे बताइए दैट्स वन थिंग आई नो वी आर विल हेल्प बट इट्स अ कॉस्टली मैकेनिज्म इट्स नॉट ईजी टू जस्ट लाइक कि आपने टी वी के रिप्ले देख लिए एंड उससे कर लिया वी ए आर फीफा एज अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर वी ए आर टू बी टू बी यूज यू कैन जस्ट डू इट यूजिंग विद अ करंट सेटअप दे नीड टू चेंज इट रेफरीज नीड टू बी ट्रेन फॉर इट दे लॉट्स ऑफ स्टफ बिफोर यू इम्प्लीमेंट वे आर एंड आई थिंक वे आर शुड नॉट बी शुड नॉट बी द प्रायोरिटी फॉर इंडियन फुटबॉल एट दिस स्टेज इफ यू आस्क मी फिर साउथ एशियन फुटबॉल ग्रो इन अप कमिंग आई रियली वॉन्ट द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट टू डू वेल इन फुटबॉल यू नो एंड आई थिंक वी हैव पोटेंशियल टू मैच एशिया टू मैच वेस्ट एशिया वी हैव फैंस वी हैव पॉपुलेशन वी हैव परचेजिंग पावर इट जस्ट आर फुटबॉल इज नॉट डूइंग वेल कैन प्लीज ऑन वट बेसिस एफ एम एक्सटेंडेड सीम एक् कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इफ आई न्यू आई वुड हैव टेन बट आई थिंक दे वट दे टोल्ड इन द स्टेटमेंट दैट यू नो दैट द प्लेइंग स्टाइल इज गुड टीम इज प्रोग्रेसिंग वी आर प्लेइंग गुड फुटबॉल Results are not there, but that will come with time. He has done well. He doesn't have enough time because of COVID. So these were the reasons they have given. Uh, Sergio left. Yes, Sergio Oliveira has left uh, Mumbai City FC. He is joining another project of City Group, and they have announced uh, Des uh, Buckingham uh, as a head coach of uh, Mumbai City FC. Des Buckingham was the assistant coach at Melbourne City FC. Before that, he was involved with Stoke City under 23. Before that, he he worked in New Zealand. for the youth team uh, programs and you led new zealand under 20 team to the round of 16 in fifa under 20 world cup 2019 so that's great that looks like a good young coach coming up what about goal line technology i think goal line technology can be brought in but again these technologies not easy, not that cheap what people think it's expensive uh, tech you know i think but slowly goal line technology can be implemented so let's see uh, and my what is update on stimac stimac update is very simple in the starting of the video i told that i was told from my sources in aff that you know Uh, AFF is going to review the performance of football team players and the coaching staff after this half. Some fraction of uh, my sources says that you know it's just not federation or coach. Sometimes players need to be blamed for it. So I am not going to say anything more till this half championship gets over. You will get details from our side very soon regarding the same. Why Nepalis are saying that most of Indian players are of Nepali origin other than Chetri? Uh, Chetri was born in India. His parents, his mother comes from Nepal. His father worked in Indian Army. There are many Nepali Nepalis who worked in Indian Army, and we should respect that. But he Chetri, and uh, I think uh, I have said this. I will say again. Sunil Chetri would have not become Sunil Chetri if he was in, he was he was in Nepal. You have to give give credit to Indian football ecosystem, I League, AFF, youth setup development program, Delhi Delhi football for the work they have done to make what Sunil Chetri is. and i know my naples fan who agree to this fact you know so other than that baiching butia he is from sikkim he is not Na- nepalis and the thapas from dehradun he is from nepalis i am not sure what they talking about uh, who, who are Nep- naples origin player some says qatar will make investment in kerala blaster qatar have a bad have a bad name in human rights towards migrants worker majority of the migrant workers are from kerala qatar can do sports wash theories of kerala blaster fans i love it 
it's more like a thrilling thrilling movie why sports minister does not take action against the afa president for delay in election i think it's not that simple you know they have to go for protocols and protocol says that they have a case going on a supreme court supreme court is busy with the relevant uh, cases in india and we know that how many cases will be there you know so let's see when will sudesh will other coming i think sudesh will be very soon for india nepal game other uh, i think i'm trying to get some podcast shooted very very soon uh what the current status of pis play oci play there is they, they are not going to be there uh, song space media don't worry pis and oci are not playing for indian football for next 3 4 years until as government changes the program don't care but care man napoli or indian he is playing for national uh, sunil chetri was born in uh, sikandrabad if you remember correctly born and bottom in delhi his father is indian indian army mother comes from Na- nepal i agree totally and he is sunil chetri because of indian football he is he is not sunil chetri because he is nepal ne- uh because he is nepali any more domestics i am not sure they going to sign any more domestic player not the united uh tell me about future of indian super league i think there's a good update of indian super league today which you guys might have missed it uh, the prize money uh, setup has changed now isl league winners get 3.5 crores instead of 50 lakh rupees they were getting last year that's great step for indian football and isl champions money is decreased now by 2 crores runner up money is decreased by 1 crore so this is the update and this shows that isl is moving towards the league setup now slowly slowly the league champion will getting everything you know because they also going to the uh, afc champions league juan fernando is lot better as a mastermind he will be best possible option but will fc go let him go that's a big question Uh, do you also feel that getting academy is the most important thing now like the most of the talents come from uh, north east so just imagine a group like cfg make academy in mizoram meghalaya so we can get so many gem i agree and i have been fan of uh, you know uh, what reliance youth foundation had done they might not have academy in mizoram because infrastructure wise it might be costly to get everything there but their scouting program need to be there they can have academy wherever they want in mumbai in goa in kerala in kolkata even in north east just have your scouting all across the india so there is no talent is missing you know uh, he is not getting what he need so i think that's what's important and i hope club like north east united they sits on a gold mine by the way they their name is north east united and they representing uh, the north east region of india where the majority of the talent come from and they have done nothing to find those gems from north east club from bangalore which is bangalore fc the lanch youth foundation project in mumbai has fc goa shillong lejong of course is part from meghalaya they have done more to find talent from north east than north east united north east united and very honestly say they have done they have put in zero effort to do anything in the north east region to find those talented young players you know and they would have find those players make them good football and sell them on money make your club uh, uh, on some revenue through it you know and and i really want if and in north east united if they don't consider themselves to do anything for the region overall they should rename them to themselves to guwahati fc or assam fc that's better i think for the for the region you know that will give options for other uh, region from north east to come in isl i think i hope uh, uh, state like mizoram manipur will have their team in isl in future you know that will change the game for the region for sure what about the reserve league and the reserve league will happen uh, i'm not sure of timeline for it but i think it will happen in jan or feb maybe so let's wait for that do you think a deal by between fsd and afa will break after 2024 or will afa extend it or will club oppose it be in support of it i have mixed reviews can't say that who will oppose who will review but i say will they stay there irrespective of the deals if, even if the deal is not there i say will be there uh why clubs pay uh, pay to play in isl and how much clubs pay against uh, a, a, a franchise fee vary from 12 to 16 crores depending on clubs to club they have different different for different different clubs so i think that's what the franchise fee they pay um, chance for isl second division i think i league is there so do you want to make another isl second division and they need to do well with the isl uh, i i league and let's hope that i league keep providing what they have been providing in the past will lovera take brendan jahu and fall to his new club and not should sure jahu and fall is going to leave mumbai city at this state but in future you never know and and brendan has a long term contract with the fc goa also jamshedpur fc new jersey for this season will be revealed uh, question mark or they will have same jersey looks looks tough at this stage chushma prasad uh, mujhe nahi lagta hai ki wo hoga 
two less time to get that done. I think they might have a similar jersey like last season. Uh, training jersey in, in, was there in hand to change. They have changed it. Do you think this Golden Baby League has some programs and the plans of Reliance Foundation excellent for long term project? Golden Baby League is a festival. Right. It's it's festival. It's great because we have nothing. That's why it's great. But we need to have more. You know, state federation need to do more at the state level. You know, it should not be a central AFF program. It should be a district level program. You know, school level. Until unless we take, I think one thing which which maybe maybe uh, AFF or FSGL or ISL can do. I and they do it. Reliance Youth Foundation. They have their school league and college league. By the way, uh, for football they have a school league. We, we, we want more school leagues like these, you know. Maybe CBSE can do it. CBSE have so many schools in India and they have clusters. If you remember, I have I played CBSE clusters in cricket. I have represented my school in cricket at different different various levels. I have represented my state at various levels. And uh, they have football uh, for the clusters also. I think they, what they can do is they make a, make a league, you know, uh, for football. Uh, just give an example, say, say in Dehradun, we have at least 10 to 15 CBC school with fantastic infrastructure for football. Those 10 to football school can have their, you know, say uh, two teams. One is under under uh, under 18, which their 11th and 12th class or 10th class kids. And one can have be under 15, which the players below 10th class and play those games on every Sunday against each other throughout throughout the year. And, uh, you know, end of the year, of the academic year, there can be one champion from that district, that city. And then you can send that uh, team to the national level to when you get the champion from all the district or the state, you know. I think something which need to be there at school level. Uh, there is There are school programs, but they are more of a tournament instead of a league. And uh, those tournament 15-20 days doesn't help players, you know. If this thing happens, government give them subsidies to the schools, to appoint head coaches instead of PTI doing doing everything for cricket, football, volleyball, wo football, wo bhi sika, basketball, bhi sika rahe, football, bhi sika rahe. And, and let's put incentive there. So that's where AFF need to come. They need to make go and go and talk to the boards like CBSC, ICC boards, state boards. And CBSC schools are there in everywhere in India. If they do with one board, it will be great, great uh, 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 example for the other 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 state to implement it. I think it will be great, you know, Saturday, Sunday. And that's what happened on the Europe, by the way. Europe, every, I, I know, I have been in Germany, I have been in UK to watch football, to meet people. And this is a fixed routine in Europe. They have, they work from Monday to Thursday or Monday to Friday. On the weekend, they watch their favorite club to play and they take the kids to their league games, you know, who are, if they're playing under five, under seven, they have league games going every weekend, you know. And it can be great, great. This this, this is the thing we need at the grassroots level. Uh, and it will be great for the overall development of the Indian football. In Goa, schools also at school and college league. I understand, yes, they have it. We needed a more at the national level. CBC need to do it or Indian government need to do it. As I told, there is, uh, uh, that's why Goa is also by the footballing state of India. Uh, I can I, I can say that and I uh, there is also Reliance Youth Foundation state and the uh, school and the college tournament where they play in the district level then state level then national level you know that's something which CBSC can do and we need more of this one will not help you know we need with the CBSC we need with the government boards the other state boards also there you know we need college level you can say too late but it, players can play for the fun you never you can get somebody from college level but school we need it. You know, and we need it especially under 15, you know, not just under under 18, maybe under under 14 or under 17, we can make it, you know, so that uh, uh, teams who are winning under 17 level, they goes to play this national championship when they became 18, you know, so they can play that as under 18. Why Nivea is giving same boring ball, Puma was the best ball sponsor. I think you have to check with the Nivea why they're doing so. Please explain the reserve league. I'm as of now there is no idea for the reserve league. I think what reserve league means is that club will have to have their B team and play against each other at least. I think one will be. I think one match. I think it will be small tournament type stuff at this this year. I'm not still not sure the structure. What is the structure? But I think I'm not. They don't have enough uh, time to make it home and away or even Goa to make it home and away because grounds need to be there. So let's see where they do it. Will they do it in Goa? Will they do it in Kerala? And that's the decision they need, they need to take. Higher Sajjal level for Indian football team. I think he will not come back to India. Gaurav Chauhan. Uh, math teacher destroyed football says ISL tactics. Uh, is there any college uh, football uh, league in Uttarakhand? I'm not sure. Yeah, so the college league hota hai. 
uh, if you remember that you know uh, the UGC Indian uh, University program जो है uh, जो central government के उसके अंदर कुछ होते हैं north south तो कुछ ना कुछ होता है but these are tournaments they are not a leagues college uh, tournament will not help league will help will this year be this year will be I league uh, champion promoted to ISL the clear road map please uh, I am not sure this year will happen that also I think next year onwards will happen update about KPL 24 league this season no update new update about Kerala Premier League at this stage upcoming new academy in in, in uh, academies in India or by any clubs India mein kaun sa academy best hai my cousin brother ka football play mein bahut jada interest hai uh, I have touch upon this let me struck straight away Goa is planning with their residential academy they have youth setup but not a proper academy setup now Hyderabad is also planning Bangalore already have it uh, Mumbai has their own plans but I have not heard much about that plans also uh, Kerala has all their own plans uh, they, they have their thinking to do that also uh, Jamshedpur have they already have their academy who are the best academy I think I will say at this stage the Reliance Youth Foundation Bangalore FC they have good academy set up, you know, residential academy, both the, uh, both the academies. Tata Flora Academy, legendary academy of Indian football, they are still there. Chandigarh Football Academy is a great academy. Minerva, Minerva has been doing great. Uh, so Minerva, they have residential academy. So you have to see academy is not just playing, uh, giving football facilities to play for football. It should be, their academy are two type, day, day scholars academy or res residential academy. So the residential academies are four or five only in India. Chandigarh Football Academy, Minerva Academy, Redance Youth Foundation Academy, uh, GSW Bangalore Academy and Tata Football Academy. There are some, there was still some setup for East Mongar and Mohan Bagan, but I'm not sure what the status of those setup also. Odisha FC also planning for the academy, but still it is not there. Imagine if Assam FC, Mizoram, Manipur, Sikkim, another Northeast team based join ISL in future. I think that's what the long term future should be. Jamshed FC, new woman away kit. Ashish, please, please, I request you. Sushma Prasad. मेरे पे यार जो मुझे पता चला है कि आपको शायद नई किट नहीं आएगी इस सीजन व्हाट आई नो इज दैट यू नो इट्स टू लेट फॉर देम टू चेंज इट एंड इट्स अ टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोसेस फॉर देम टू चेंज इट इट्स नॉट द क्लब दे आर डिसीजन मेकर्स हु आर सिटिंग ऑन टॉप हु हैव देयर ओन रीजन टू टेक डिसीजंस सो आई थिंक आई कैन से मोर देन दैट यू नो बिकॉज इट विल बी नॉट फेयर ऑन द पीपल आई एम टॉकिंग टू टू टेल हियर डो आईएसएल स्कॉट्स डिपेंड ओनली ऑन स्टैटिस्टिक्स और दे आल्सो वॉच गेम प्ले ऑफ प्लेयर्स ऑफ स्टेट लीग दे डू वॉच it's not in sad sony they do watch man in kerala believe that peter P peter boskus and vengal was the two managers shortlisted of blasters and some believe one of them will join kerala these people even bullied hari hari go can't say anything i mai kuch bolta hu to fans take offense in gorakhpur uttar pradesh nobody plays cricket in school everybody play uh, play football in sports period then rest of time discuss blame each other only thing about football next one hour शांतनु त्रिपाठी एंड दिस इज वट आई आई हैव शांतु अच्छी बात आपने बताया दिस इज वट आई टोल्ड इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो आई कम फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड आई प्लेड माई क्रिकेट इन उत्तराखंड एंड यूपी क्लस्टर आर लॉट फुटबॉल इज अ पॉपुलर स्पोर्ट इन यूपी उत्तराखंड स्कूल्स देयर इज फुटबॉल ग्राउंड इन एवरी स्कूल बाई द वे मेजोरिटी स्कूल्स आई हैव बीन टू देहरादून स्कूल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्पोर्टिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज वेरी गुड एंड the reason behind is also that it for a school if they can give one football at least at least 30 30 kids can play you know 15 15 ek team mein hote hain so that's the easier way for them a cricket khilane lagenge agar sports ke period mein uh, sports class mein so they will need kits they need everything har player ko gloves do ye do wo do juta do wicket lagao bat lao ball lao gloves lao so that's become complicated for them so school level pe isliye ek football basketball bahut popular hai india mein north mein to bahut jata south ka i have no idea but i know uh, pune goa and some some, some south state i have an idea they also play lots of basketball that's why basketball and football is one of the popular sport in the school level also volleyball because it is easy to involve save 30 kids with just one ball so that's why school do it for them it's lesser uh, expense compared to you know uh, cricket or sport like cricket you know where you need every uh, player will need a separate kits so that's the reason jamshe wo ho gaya dekho sushma mai uska kuch bolunga nahi there's much craze of football in uttar pradesh but no support at all i think i agree i think slowly that need to be changed players like nishu kumar coming from muzaffarnagar that's tell you that you can get footballers from up bihar also it's not you can't do you think mumbai, uh, mumbai city fc will perform the way they did last year 
do you know anything about this new coach i have just uh, get to know just before this video what i have read till now what what people are telling me he look a great coach i have to review his game what he had done with new zealand under 20 team before saying anything on his playing style but what mumbai statement says that you know he is going to continue what sajil overa was doing in term of playing football so i think it looks like that he is going to do a similar type of football you know so uh, i think looks like a passing football is going to play so i think that's will be the uh, uh, thing uh, guys i think we have oh, we are over one hour now uh 191 people watching it's great lesser than the india's game because many people came to see my rant for the <laughs> agost mac uh it will be great if you can hit that like button uh, let's let's try to get it 350 likes 235 people have uh, liked it if you're enjoying what we're doing please hit that like button subscribe to this channel it will be great there are uh, links of social media including mine on the description tab telegram community group link also on the description tab so you can join that if you're looking i am from uh, belgium and st paul school and we have a separate football coach for both senior and junior even they play near 6 or 7 tournament july to jan alan fernandez and that's what we want if we can take football to the level where every school every school you know uh, in india have proper football set up a proper football coaches that will what that will increase the football uh, ecosystem you know uh there more people will do the license because if uh, if school is appointing you know uh school is appointing the coaches then people will uh, think to become professional coaches you know so that will be great for indian football was senior team indian team played for saf cup what were 2023 what happened to komal tatal komal tatal is back at jamshedpur not played much of club football in last 3 4 years hopefully this is the season for him sima ka komen of course komen is far better coach yaar he is not doing well with barcelona but he took netherlands and he is great coach you can't compare komen with sima for sure any chance of afa president election this year unlikely at this stage will this time in goa the stadium will be open no stadium will be not open this time at the initial phase i'm told so let's see i think what happened there okay sorry Spain and France prediction. I am I am fan of uh, not fan of France, but I am a favorite player in France playing. So I will support France in that. Uh, but France uh, looks weak. Belgium was winning two zero, and then I started watching after half time, and they won three two. So at least I proved lucky for France yesterday. So let's see. I think hopefully France win it. But Spain look good at this stage. Volleyball is very popular in UP. But what about pro volleyball league? Ah, uh, pro volleyball league is coming. So it's only third party season. So let's see what how that takes. First season was success for them. Then there was a controversy between uh, volleyball federation and the league. So now they have come up with a new everything. Ashish, why don't you start your own team in a lower league? Kailash Singh Bish. Ah, uh, uh, Kailash. Kailash. करेंगे भाई कभी न कभी वो भी एक सपना है. Not this stage. I have many things to do in my life before doing that. But that's the ultimate thing that I want to start my own club one day. Maybe from there alone only I will do it. Maybe from anywhere from Uttarakhand also. But that's the ultimate thing I want to do. And uh, when I will do it, I will do it properly. Not just that you know doing it in a way that just there in the name. So I will, when I whenever I do it, I will be going to do it very properly. You know. Where is Lubera is going? I think he's going to another city group. Looks like a Spain to me. Some in all it's Spain or in US maybe. Will the twenty one twenty two I League second division start? Any chance of promotion increase to two or any direct entry in I League clubs can join as a next season? I don't think I will give any direct entry this time around. Uh, but you will see clubs fighting for the second division spot. And talking about second division, what a second division is going on? Nobody is winning clearly. So it looks like we said Bangalore United is favorite. We said Kerala United is favorite. So it's the league is open now. Anybody can come in. So that shows the difference in the quality of uh, between these clubs. Even if they get the better foreigners, because foreigners there are only two are allowed in the playing elevens. Other if you don't have a nation, so that changes the game. नेपाल वर्सेस इंडिया का क्या होगा मैच सागर सीना सागर होपफुली हम जीते यार आई डोंट वांट टू लूज अगेन नेपाल रंजीत बजाज इंटरव्यू पेंडिंग आर्या कुलकर्णी डोंट वरी सो वंस आर स्टूडियोज रेडी आई एम गोइंग टू इनवाइट हिम एंड डू अ फिजिकल इंटरव्यू इंस्टेड डूंग जूम इंटरव्यू Sagar is from Nepal, so of course, uh, of course, I hope you guys will hope in Nepal. But I don't want to lose again Nepal. Even Nepal reached South Championship, they won it. I just don't want to lose again Nepal. That's it. ISL Reserve League. I've already given update. It's likely to happen in Feb. I think. Let's see. I think clubs are preparing for it. They have to come up, come up, come up to FSDL uh, with their opinion and their 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 squad details, their everything, technicals details before they decide the schedule of it. So I think, guys, 
थैंक यू वेरी मच होपिंग दैट इंडिया विन्स दी नेक्स्ट गेम दे वेरी कंटेंट अराउंड इंडियन गेम्स फॉर श्योर ऑन दिस चैनल इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब यू कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी हैव डन एंड देर इज अ वीडियो ऑफ टॉप ट्वेंटी गोल्स फॉर कमिंग फॉर डूएंथ कप ग्रेट गोल्स बाय द वे आई हैव वॉच एट लीस्ट सेवेंटी गोल्स बिफोर सेलेक्टिंग दोज टॉप ट्वेंटी गोल्स I am still confused. Who should be the first goal? It should be Mohammad Nawal goal or the free kick from Bengaluru Bhutia, the left footed from outside the box. That various free kick scores, but I have I have ranked those free kicks according to the way they were hit. Goalkeeper mistakes or not? Where they are going in? How far is the ball? How far was the ball from? So I've I've done my my job. I've just have to rank them. before uh, uploading the final video uh, editor have to finalize the final video so it will be coming very soon so let's see even bayern coach is younger than neuer so young coaches are coming that's great for the football overall in the world i think qualifier is playing at a high pace it was surprising and pitch was also so good i think pitch is bangalore uh, bangalore football stadium it's artificial pitch uh, so let's see sc east bengal we will do the team team sc east bengal or adinya ganguly ji bahut jaldi karenge we don't worry about it next 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 week maybe i'll pick East Bengal and ATK Mohan Bagan together because I still feel North East will need some time, uh, uh, some time to finalize the squad. So guys, if just hit the like button, if not hit the like button, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I keep on tweeting something very interesting about Indian football, Indian sports, and some time about tech also whenever I feel like. Uh, not I'm not going to put news and everything for that. You can follow Kinla on social media handles. Uh, and let's see. I think De Bruyne and Stephen Grant. Which will we choose? Oh, yeah, De Bruyne and Stephen uh, Gerrard. Who, as a United fan, I think even even I hate Gerrard, but De Bruyne is different footballer. Gerrard is different. Oh, I think good question. If I have to, if I have to select my best eleven, and I need a one player in that midfield, I will pick Stephen Gerrard. Uh, Usain Sadio was asked. I will pick uh, Stephen Gerrard for sure. Why Indian African boy we did not promote it to football? Which Indian African guy you're talking about? Travel by Atul Krishna in Mumbai City FC. New coach is younger than Igor Ingalo. Yes, yes, he's he's young coach. Uh, JJ is next destination. Can't say anything stage. I think things are very close, so can't say say anything on that. So let's wait for that to get done before we say anything. So guys, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, so sorry for the initial hiccups because of OBS. I was facing some issue. So I hope that will be clear now. I need to I install it multiple time. At least in Apple, that that doesn't take much time. So that great. Uh, bro, do you have any update? I don't have any update on Killer Rush investment at this point. Whenever I have, I will bring it for you guys. Don't worry. I have not given any update on Killer Rush investment updates. There is no update. Is Killer Rush associated with any newspaper or only available online? We do not associate with any newspaper. We are independent sports fan engagement media platform. Not backed by any media houses, so we are doing whatever we're doing by our own. So you will not find it anywhere in newspaper. You just find online only on our website, kilo.com. Sir, in news on United, Sikkim or old Goan club, the Dampo Salogar, are they trying to play direct I League entry or player? I think the Goan clubs will try to come in uh, I League very soon. So don't maybe not not this year, but in in two two years, will De Bruyne get an Ballon d'Or award this season? No, I'm not sure De Bruyne will get it any time. Nepal versus India score prediction. I will go for India one zero or maybe two one. Nepal will score, but I want India to win it. Simak should be replaced by replaced by Khalid Jamil Zaid Sand. Let's see how much time Simak has. I think he has time till the under twenty three qualifiers. I am not sure they are going to change the under twenty three coach at this stage now. So I think uh, Akashdeep Singh Kalau is with East Bengal this year. I have to check Gangguli ji. I have not seen them. I have not seen their squad details. Once I prepare that squad chart, I will bring you everything about the squad who are there, who are not. And I might miss some, but I have to talk to the people who are the club. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, if you have not hit the like button, do hit the description. Uh, links are in description for the Telegram group. Also, there are 1500 people talking about Indian football in general. You can join them. Uh, and discuss about Indian football. I I keep on coming there in between. Want to make more frequent visit in that group also. So you can come and join. I keep on putting some interesting interesting stuff there. You can follow me on Twitter. My ID my ID is in link in description. If S E D Kerala is watching, I do watch. Do put the timestamp for the people who are watching in offline mode. It will be great. Kerala defend by four four two one when they attack. It became four two three one. It's not four typical four four two English. I've never said it is a typical four four two English. Don't worry. 
जे जे के बारे में दीपेंद्र रॉय आई कॉन्ट से एनीथिंग एट दिस स्टेज थिंग्स आर वेरी क्लोज वेरी क्रिटिकल स्टेज सो आई कॉन्ट आई कॉन्ट से दैट यू नो पर्टिकुलर डिटेल्स आई कॉन्ट गिव एट दिस स्टेज बट आई थिंक इट शुड डन बाय नेक्स्ट टुडे टुमारो मे बी बाय दिस वीकेंड any news about kafa and what going to represent it? i no news from the central asian football association at this stage let's see uh why nike left indian football team nike has been leaving lots of football team sponsorship they are they want to focus more on the uh, individual players please explain how india won against thailand with this team so we need immediate resign from <laughs> that one game which they won 1-0 it was okay decent game it you know, you know dominated the game the asian cup game asia afc shin cup we did dominate thailand very uh, very well Why a Telegram group have cricket chats when Khelon doesn't give cricket news? Sometimes you have to give people they 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 talk you know. Uh, we don't cover cricket. That's that's true. And uh, maybe future it will change. But we want to focus on the other sports at this stage. Thank you, sir. So thank you very much. Uh, how will Indian football team before and how will be Indian football team before? And before I think there was a Bajing Bhutia. Yeah, was a great striker. Uh, there was I am Vijayan. I'm, one of the best talented footballers ever in last 20 years so it's not that uh, i hope we get somebody else to follow up on sunil chetri we don't have because when 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 uh, vijayan was in later part of his career bhutia was already dominating indian football when bhutia came into later part of his career sunil chetri was already there sadly sunil chetri is in later part of his career we don't have anybody to take it uh, take it from him acd kerala thank you very much for doing that uh, which is the best signing from sc eb as your thoughts and the gongli everything about sc east bengal uh, next friday 6 pm for 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 sure telegram i can't join sorry but i think telegram is the best way for us because whatsapp don't allow more than i think 200 people at this stage i'm not sure i'm not check what whatsapp group call uh, strength so guys thank you very much for joining in uh, hopefully uh, india wins again nepal wins again maldives and reach to final so that we are little bit happy uh, any problem pro kabaddi league is going to start 22 december is pro kabaddi league starting Uh, Kiran Prasad, uh, that's the update, and it's already came officially announced by PKL. You can you can uh, search for Khel Kabaddi page on our Facebook, and you can join Khel Kabaddi page. And we have Kabaddi updates on our websites going on on regular basis. Lots of Kabaddi updates in Hindi English on our website. How much ISL prize money? Uh, if you have ISL prize money, before I wrap wrap up, there's a change in ISL prize money. This is the ISL prize money now. Uh, winners get. I said trophy winner get six crores, runner up gets three crores, semi finalists get one point five crores. Now in pre- present scenario, I said league winners used to get fifty lakhs. Now they get three point five crores. That's a change. So if I said league stage winner also win I said champ, he became I said champion, then he will get nine point five crores. If he if I said league winners becomes runner up, then they will uh, no sorry. Ha huh. if I said uh, league winner also get runner up, they will they will get six point five crores total. I think that's a good money. Uh, if you ask me at this stage, you know, and this is where majority of the sponsors' money goes to get this prize money. Uh, do you think SGFI players they also have good player but need to watch and select them? I think SGFI. I talk about the school league which SGFI used to do. I'm not sure. Will the four foreign players in the in the playing eleven changes on the standard of the Indian player? I think it should change. Let's see. We can't play Persian style football with Subhashish and Rahul because CV Jackson Sana should start in 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 Saif says DV. Uh, Mathias is watching Kabaddi as there are no ice highlights in ice in star. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, doesn't learn anything from them. <laughs> uh, please, uh, yeah, timestamp will be there. Thank you to our moderator, the uh, SAD Kerala. He will put the timestamp. Don't worry, I will uh, will pin his comment on top from team. Somebody pin it and give it heart so people know it. The there's the timestamp. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, I will see you guys again before the India game and the episode number thirty nine will come uh, next week, Friday six pm. uh for sure so thank you very much